Welcome. We are back for the last part of the video series Beyond Horizons, Trends, Niches and Fields. And the last part is the last two elements. And on some level, we really feel this is one of the most important ones. Where are you in all of this stuff around you? This is the big question here. And we use here, of course, the last two elements that are available. And there is always no accident. So the last two elements are the fire and love. So love is really what Einstein also considers the fifth element. And I love it because love is very amazing. So what is the fire? The, the fire is really what's inside of you in regards to your passion, your inspiration, but also your endurance, your ability to, to go beyond resistance, to go beyond comfort zones, your ability to ride the challenge and get out on the other side. So, the fire is really, really important. When we don't have fire as an element, and we also know that from, from exercising, we know that from many things that we do, if we don't have the fire, it can be very boring. And not only it can be boring, but if somebody doesn't feel that you are really interested in that, that you really have a fire burning here, maybe nobody really cares. So the fire is really something very important that you bring here. And imagine now you bring your fire into the fields and into the niches and to the trends, then you really start connecting and linking it up and really making it about your people that you're sharing the love with, your abilities, your services, your products, your experiences. And it becomes actually you. So when you are not connected to this fire, it's very difficult that you're really heard or even seen. This is part of your voice, that fire. That purpose that is beyond you. That bigger picture that is maybe even bigger than your purpose, than your mission and visions. What are you really here for? What is the difference that you want to see in the world? And, and most importantly, what are you willing to do for it? So this is a fire. And what is, what is your fire? It's going to be very interesting. For me, the fire is really to connect. And for me in particular, it's to connect to the divine within. And not only because I want to meditate 24 hours and spend all the time with my infinite, timeless, formless self. No, I feel one of the main purposes is really to connect. So that, that physical experience that I'm having here as Patrick talking to you is more than that. Or it's beyond that. The body just gives me an opportunity to be here. But the body will be gone at one time. But that within, that divine, that relation that I'm building and maybe evolving over time, that is what burns for me. And I love when things come out different. I don't like always the same, neither for myself nor for you. And I enjoy when you find your meaning. And this is the most important part here. So, that gives you a little idea about the fire. And now we're going into the other side, if you wish, or the deeper side, or the mystic side, or the spiritual side, whatever resonates with you. It is not about the name. I already explored a little bit with you and let you know that for me, that connecting within, some call it Advaita, self-inquiry. Again, there's many, many words for it. Some are calling it God. It, it's not about the word, but it is that self that is beyond that physical, the mind and the body and the emotions and, and who we are in this world. So 
I connect that self within, the essence, the source, whatever feels good for you. Not attached to the word. Choose the word that feels true for you. Could also be the heart. Whatever feels good. And it's very important that we understand the connection is important. And with that connection, we are coming into a space of love. And of course, I like it that Einstein and many others talk about love as the, the next element, the fifth element. So we can weave it beautifully into that. It's not like that self within, that heart, that whatever we want to call it, is telling you exactly what to do. No. This is what is behind it. This is what gives it that love. And other experts are saying that the only purpose or the only thing that this self within is actually having is to express love. So you see, it, it matches very, very nicely. So how does that love, how does that connection with the self within connect to the fields and the natures and the trends. It could be that last piece of choice that is coming, that you say, yeah, that could be good for me. I, I want to be here. I want to be of service here. I want to serve people here. This is what it does. Of course, we could see two aspects of that self when we take it from a perspective of divine or sacred. We could also say there's different worlds. We could talk about different dimensions. We could talk about spirit, light spirits and all of that. And it could also be that in that level, however you like it, you could see here your connection to your allies in spirit whether this is angels or dragons or ascended masters or nature, there's again an infinite space that is opening up for you. And we will be inviting you to explore that. So in the masterclass, we actually go and find a nice spirit animal for you or power animal that helps you to guide you through that whole experience. And in the mastery, um, program, we will actually create a beautiful harmonic map and your spirit or power animal will be part of this and assist you on this journey. So I hope that helps a little bit and you have a better idea where fire and love can take you on that bigger map beyond horizons, how you are showing up, how you are shining in this world. 2021 and beyond.